In the last video, we learned together how to make one-way platforms in Unity. So in this video, we are going to learn how to make ladders and how to use those ladders in conjunction with one-way platforms. So let's hop into it. Starting with our video, we will need a ladder like this one. You can see here that I have a box collider 2D as well as this box collider is set to is trigger. You can see here that also the layer, uh, it should be ladder, but I, I named it layer. Uh, so this, this layer is basically the ladder layer. And we need to add some modification to our player script. So what are we going to do is very simple. You are going to first off make a layer mask for the ladder. So you can see here, I have made a layer mask called ladder layer too much l too much l and now i'm going to go down to my fixed update and i'm going to check or first off i'm going to make my pool so you can see here the here that i got a private pool called is grounded if you can recall that it's from the how to do ground check and double jumps in unity i will leave the link at the description on top of the screen but here we are going to make something really similar. So we are going to make a pool once more. And this pool will be called is climbing. Okay, because I am really, you know, really unique name. Is climbing. And what we are going to do is basically just the same. We are just going to copy and paste this. So what does that code do exactly? You can see here it checks for a box cast. What is a box cast? It's similar to a rate cast. You can see here that my player got this box collider, right? So the box cast actually takes the same shape as the box collider and checks for collision as we state here. So you can see that I have the box collider dot bounce dot center dot everything. So what is the box collider? It is our player box collider. You can see here that I checked with um, box collider 2D and I got the component here of the player box collider. So this is referencing our box collider, the bounce, the center, and the, the float, the distance. The angle, first off, is set to zero because we need it as it is. And the direction is vector two dot down. The float distance, something like really, really small, like not even 0, 0.0, I mean, not even 0 0.1 maybe 0 0.01 and for here instead of the ground layer we are going to write ladder layer just like this so this will return the hit info dot collider so this will return the colliders that the box cast collided with and you can see here that i bought a layer mask this means that this box cast will not make collision with any other thing than the ladder, uh, the ladder layer, okay? So if this happens, it's going to return the collider. If not, it going, it's going to return no. So I'm here in the fixed update. I'm going to check if the input dot get axis, vertical axis, just like this, is positive or not. So what does that mean? Basically, I press the up arrow or the W button. But here, I'm just going to check another thing, which is if it is is climbing. So if I am in collision with the ladder and I press the up arrow, it's going to do something. So you can find this really similar to our, again, our jump code. But you can see the difference here is is grounded and here is is climbing. But here I'm going to add something else, which is going to be and not is climbing. So both of them doesn't, uh, you know, contradict with each other. Any weird things happens. So I'm just going to put this here. And now I'm going to go down and tell him what to do. So basically what he's going to do is he's going to set the animator dot set pool. I named it climb. I'm going to show you in a minute, and it's going to set to be set to true. 
So if you don't have an, an animation, you don't really need to do this. If you have one for climbing, you are going to do just like this. What I'm saying, I'm going to go to your animator and you are going to make a pool for climbing. Here is the animation for climbing. You can see I did put the transition with climb to true, no exit time, no fixed duration. And here the same thing, but with false. If you want to know everything about animator and the animations, I will leave a video link at the top right of the screen. So continue, continuing with our video, I'm going to go back to my script and I'm going to say, I'm going to change the transform Blair or first off Blair RP dot transform dot position plus equals vector to the top just like this time is the movement speed what the hell okay time is the movement speed times time dot fix delta time just like this one okay uh what's wrong is in when I type vector C and vector okay so actually I need to put this as a vector three not vector two just like this one okay and we are done now what i need to check for two other things so i want when i am climbing i want or actually when i am in contact with the ladder i want my gravity scale to be equal to zero so my player doesn't get affected by gravity so here i'm going to check for is climbing and i'm going to say player rb dot gravity scale is equal to zero just like this I, I forgot to put my uh, yeah just like this also I'm going to check for another thing if <coughs> not is climbing I'm going to say first off set the player RB gravity scale back to one as well as set the animator dot pool god damn it I also forgot <laughs> sorry uh pool climb to false and now after i do this we are good to go so basic basically this will is going to bring back the player rb dot gravity to one so the normal or if you if you modified your gravity you are going to put it as the default value for your editor so maybe you put it as five here you are going to bring it back to five and we are going to stop the climbing animation because we already got out of the ladder just like this we are done i'm going to head back to unity and we are going to try you can see here that this is my high, high platform that i made in the previous video this platform can be uh the player can go from down to up from the bottom level of it so it's basically a one-way platform and on top i could i could press on the down arrow key to bring the player down so we are going to try the ladder right now okay i i forgot something something you need to actually put the uh the layer i forgot okay we are done and now i'm going to go and boom and you can see i climbed up and actually went through the platform because it's one way now i'm going to go and try once more just like this and we are good to go you can see that if i didn't press the keep pressing the up button uh, up uh, arrow key it's not going to go up now i need to hold it just like this and i am fine and good to go so a simple tutorial for today's video but very very effective and very very crucial to platformer games if you like this video and found it informative then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this one so long cheers and good night